What is up guys? Welcome back to another Geek or What video. And in this one, we're going to be doing something just a bit different. I'm joined by Harry. Hello. And in this video, Harry has bought his personal gaming setup into work for one massive upgrade. I'm excited for this one. We've been planning it for a while and it's finally happening. Exactly. Now I've teamed up with e who sent Harry all of this. Look <laughs> at this. Oh, amazing. To show you guys that upgrading an existing setup and making it that bit more awesome doesn't have to be so difficult. Should we do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. I've given Harry a £1,500 voucher, equivalent to about $1,500, to spend over on ebuy.com. He's had free range of the great deals available on their website to pick out the best parts to upgrade his setup. Whether you're looking for a new GPU, CPU, monitor, or entire PC this year, eBuyer have got you covered. Learn more at the first links in the description below. Let's begin, Harry, shall we, by looking at your existing setup, which is not bad. It's got better. Definitely got it, better. It has. It, when you started it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't was this poor. good. It was poor. <laughs> can you talk us through the main bits of the PC? Graphics card, CPU, case, all of that jazz. I can do. The GPU is 2060 Founders. From, Beautiful card. One of my favourite yeah, cards of all time. May even be the first ever GeekWatt sample, I believe. Yeah, the first NVIDIA GPU sample we had, which was quite uh, exciting. The CPU is a Ryzen 5 3600. Okay, so, so a bit out of date now, but not yeah. terrible by any means. I don't even think I have an SSD. I think it's hard drive. <laughs> oh, very, no. very dated. Oh, dearie me. I, I can't help but notice, Harry, your cooler, which was also not stolen, but given from work, <laughs> seems to have leaked and you've got no idea this has happened. It's not looking great, is it? Let's no, be honest. <laughs> it's not because a, cooler, a new cooler wasn't on your list, but we'll cross that it bridge wasn't. later. <laughs> Memory, 16 gigs, 32 gigs. 16. That's very 16. old memory. Yeah, yeah, that is old. And case-wise, that's pretty good. That's an Enzo XT something or other. H510 flow? H510 flow with, in case any of you haven't noticed, no working RGB. <laughs> <laughs> you just not plug the fans in, which is useful. Now, this is even more funny, Harry. Can you tell the people at home what you do here at Geek Media? I do actually build quite a few PCs <laughs> here, and I benchmark a lot of GPUs, so for my PC to be in the state it is, is a sorry state of affairs, really. <laughs> it is. It is indeed. But but the good news is that's about to change. Now, I notice in your pile here, apart from a new gaming headset, this is the Asus ROG Delta S with the screen, the animate version, which I'm kind of jealous about. I've never actually tried one of these before. The rest of your list is all hardware based. Is that right? It is. So let's start off by looking at the GPU. So RTX 3070 Ti, that's quite a substantial upgrade from your 2060 non-super. It is, and it's about time upgraded, I think. It's been a, a long time coming, the GPU upgrade. It looks nice, actually. Ventus card, three fan design, GPU prices, I mean in the UK especially, but globally, lowest they've been in, well, a long time really. So now is a pretty good time to pick up a new card. Obviously you've got 40 series as well in the mix, but the budget today, I'm afraid, didn't quite <laughs> stretch that far. Otherwise, I can see you've got a B660 motherboard. What's the rationale with this one? My old motherboard is just very, very old, and I don't even think it has Wi-Fi on the back. So no, it doesn't. It doesn't have an IO shield either. <laughs> I didn't no, notice that, <laughs> which we're going to solve. So this is the Gigabyte AX design. Good choice. You've gone for DDR4 memory so that we have, can yes. move that RAM over. And I'm hoping that after this video, you're going to buy another 16 gigs. Yes, I will. Okay, <laughs> cool. Processor wise, talk to us about your CPU choice. It just really impressed me during testing. Sure. It was incredible. It blew me away, quite frankly, the new Intel CPUs. Yeah, i5 3600KF. So you save some money here by not having graphics, but we don't need graphics because Harry's got graphics already. And then finally, the last item on your list is this. Talk to us about storage. I really, really needed an SSD. <laughs> Hard drives have become very slow. <laughs> Sure. I also think that it, well, not only does Harry need one for actual like Windows boot up speed and day-to-day -day usability, but he also needs one because the 3070 Ti will bottleneck on a hard drive. That's probably bottlenecking slightly on a hard drive. Uh, it probably is. Um, for now though, before we get this PC upgraded, let's take a look at this headset because I'm pretty intrigued. Mm. Okay, so these are pretty nice. What do you think of those? I like them. We took a trip to Gamescom recently and I saw them there and thought, I'll have a bit of that. I like them. Yeah, me too. They're really cool. And also like for the setup as well, they're kind of sleek, but I like how it's not just RGB and the sound quality of the ROG Delta range is pretty good. I've got the Delta S wireless, which is really, really impressive. The other ROG Delta we also use for mm. ages and like. So pretty safe bet overall. For now though, let's move all the monitor and all the other bits off, turn the PC off and let's build you a new PC. Well, upgrade your <laughs> existing PC. Kind of the whole point of this video. So first things first, I think we need to take your whole PC apart. Yep. Mainly because changing the motherboard, as you obviously know, is a bit difficult when there's other things inside of the case. <laughs> you do the GPU, I'll do the cables and we'll go from there. Get to it. Let's get to it. Harry, I've got to say, I think that's leaked. It doesn't, it, doesn't, look great. it doesn't feel wet. Yeah, look, there you go. So you see where the little, this thing is here, the little sort of I do. join. You can see there's a bit of like liquid has kind of leaked. Yeah, I don't want to put that back in and it leak all over 
over your new i5. That wouldn't be good. Also, not to be Mr. Nostalgia, but I do think that the 2060 original founder's design is still my favourite ever looking card NVIDIA made. Like, compare this to a new 4080. Mm. It's alright, isn't it? I think it's a lot better looking. Yeah, smaller. The fan, it, the proportions are just nicer and it just feels a bit more like a card you slot in rather than something that takes over your whole PC. But, you know, all good and well. <laughs> Always worries me when he puts things on oh, shelves. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got any important life saving files on this computer you can't lose? No. Just games. Just your games. Game. Your games. <laughs> your vibes. Also, all your standoffs are going to need changing because this is a micro ATX board oh, in are, an ATX they? case. To many of the Geekwatt viewers, it's complete sacrilege, but I'll let you off on this occasion because you're fixing the problem. <laughs> Stock. Right, you try that. Try try pulling that. <laughs> I'll bend the case a bit for you. There we are. Ah, teamwork. <laughs> I tell you something, that's quite a good looking motherboard. What do you think? I like it. It's, it's nice. It's a nice upgrade off the last one. Yeah. Wi-Fi, USB 3.2. No USB-C though. No, I did notice that. But that is weird. It's not too big a deal. No, and it's a pretty affordable option, right? There's there's better B660 and Z6 9790 boards on eBay if you want to spend some more money. But obviously for this build, we're keeping it good value, really. You spent all your money on graphics card. It's got to be some compromise somewhere. We never get retail packaging. When we get our like processes from Intel and stuff, they just send them in little boxes. I'll do it, James. Just chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> he learns from the best. <laughs> well, install it. Whack it in there. Maybe don't whack it. No, no, don't whack it. It's always terrifying this bit though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's scary. Now the good news is that Harry does this quite a lot, so you know exactly what to do here. There's no, no guidance required from me. Oh, easy. Tidy. Yeah. Spot on. First time, he says. It's not finished yet. Tidy. Memory next. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Corsair Vengeance, CDR4, LPX can never go wrong. Gray slots on this board, so that makes it nice and easy, colour coded. Go straight in. DDR4 as well. When I say in videos that I like the fact that Intel support DDR4 and DDR5, it's so people who have existing systems like Harry's build with perfectly good £100, $100 memory don't have to then go out and buy another set of perfectly good £100, $100 memory. It's a waste of money. That has saved you 100 quid, which you can spend on more important gaming components. Nice. SSD next. Oh, I'll, I'll do the honours. The teeny tiny screwdriver privileges can never be shared, guys. You know, what can I say? What can I say? Oh, easy. Yeah, I'm missing a standoff screw. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be okay. I mean, once you actually just put this thing in and fasten That'll it down, it. I think it should be okay. So, I mean, if we have got one, have we got one? Got the motherboard box. Oh yeah, motherboard box. I've been oh, screwing the motherboard box. We only box. do this for a living. <laughs> Watching this, you see just how much we edit out of our normal content. That's oh, the one. he's found it. There was me saying, just don't screw it in. That is terrible <laughs> advice. We just like, oh, whack the heat sink on. It'll be fine. Awful advice. Nice. So SSDs in, CPU, RAM, cooler. Now you've not cornered me, but I can't let you put that back in. And I don't think I don't think anyone wants to see that back in. So editor Maxwell, is there a cooler on the floor somewhere? Oh. oh. Chuck it <laughs> As a Christmas present what? from me, I will gift you a Corsair H100 I Elite. Well, thank you very much. That's uh, very kind. Corsair, if you're watching, please can we have another one? No. If not, <laughs> sort of has watered down the spirit of Christmas there slightly, hasn't it? And if they say no, I'll buy another one. But for the meantime, here's your new cooler. You're uh, too kind. Yeah, yeah, I know. In all seriousness, you can't put that back in there. I'm not allowing that to leak and ruin your build. So let's put this in. All the hardware is, is in here and ready. And we've used this cooler before. It's really, really solid. It. Motherboard assembly's done. Next up, let's pop it into the case. I think we're going to take this off and retire it in the graveyard of PC parts. Sounds good to me. Doesn't sound good to me. I'm a cooler down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. Cut that down, cut that, cut that. Definitely not yeah, he's down definitely down. not cutting that down. <laughs> Uh, tidy. There we are, Harry. Do you want to do the honours? We'll, we'll swap it. places. Doing it standing up. I don't know, actually. Uh, there's a lot of cake. There's a... Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's okay, yeah, I think. There's a screwdriver here. There's a screwdriver. And there's... No, oh, no! There's one. And there's the other one. I'll go and find that while you're screwing that in. Don't want to speak too soon, but this system is looking transformed. They're real, really, really nice. Did you find it? Yeah, i give it you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Ooh. Cables, cables, cables. Just the one USB-C connector for this cooler, which is going to help to optimize the cable management and also make sure as well, Harry can finally get the RGB he's been waiting for. Let's plug that in. Oh, yes. Good. We're nearly there. Let's get that graphics card in, shall we? The main event. Ebuy were very kind. They sent over this 3070 Ti at your request. This probably used up nearly half of your budget, maybe slightly less. I think as well, like, so your monitor's 1440, is that right? Yes. So the monitor's 1440. So a 3080, 3080 Ti would have been over kill to be honest with you and the 3070 Ti is going to give you probably the best performance you're going to need you weren't tempted by just splashing your whole budget on a 4080 4090 I, I was very tempted, very tempted. <laughs> i don't think it'd fit in your case i think you need a bigger that's, case that's the problem nowadays isn't it although is that a bit long or is it okay oh <laughs> 
just about. <laughs> that is just about all right. Oh my goodness. Do the honors. We'll swap places again. This is like musical chairs. There you are. Oh, like a true pro. Yes. And it's in. To be fair, actually, I think I was panicking over nothing. You could probably fit another fan on the other side of the radiator if you wanted to and have a push-pull config. So that actually fits a-okay. How does it feel to be the other side of the table? It's an odd experience. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure doing these builds now. Oh, yeah. That looks really good, actually. Right. So that's all looking good. Spin a case around. Let's put the mesh front panel on, which we have de-dustified. This is definitely a working gaming system. But let's pop that on. Nice. Nice. Dust just flies everywhere. Otherwise, though, it's just a simple, I say simple, mm. simple case of getting this thing wide up. I am going to also, you're going to have to buy your own, but I'm going to lend you some cable extensions for this because yeah, yeah. we cannot possibly put that. <laughs> Can you see that, Dan? That, although powerful enough for the graphics card, is not going anywhere near your system. So we'll see you guys in a minute when this thing's all wired up, all cabled up, and the setup is back and ready to go. And we can finally reveal to Harry your upgraded gaming setup. How exciting. That didn't take too long. What do you think so far? I like it. Nice, I like isn't it? it a lot, yeah. I like it. Picasso. Picasso. So Harry, the time has come. I'm excited. Man, I'm, I think that looks absolutely sick. Do you want to do the honours? Hit the power button. Power button's on. Oh, it's, it's on. Fans are spinning the water blocks lit up. The front RGB fans are on too. Will it display a video output to the monitor? I, th I suppose that's the big question. Hello, anybody there? How if we turn the monitor on? Yeah, but sometimes they do turn on <laughs> on their own though, don't they? Hey, there we go. Oh, has it worked? And we're in the BIOS. What an upgrade. Can't quite believe it. A big shout out to eBuy for making this video possible. Harry, what's the first game you're going to play on your new setup? <sighs> Maybe Warzone 2. We'll give it a go. Warzone 2. Whirl. You can check out all the parts that Harry's purchased at the links below and upgrade your setup with brand new hardware that doesn't have to cost the earth. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.